Welcome Libra Scorpio to your chakra reading for January. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on for the new year. Getting this new year vibe going on. Keeping your energy strong. Best message for Libra Scorpio and which chakra is the best to keep him progressing and moving forward. Best message. This message for Libra Scorpio. The chakra, best message. Wow. You have the life purpose 22, breaking down to two, keeping yourself. Well, the 20. <laughs> wow. Okay. Number one, the two is talking about, I want you to be patient, though. I want you to be patient. So we're really hearing the patience coming out of this because it's saying you're going after the life purpose. The life purpose card is talking about opening up that doorway, being patient, waiting, knowing that you're on the right path. Um, you just have to take a little bit more um, of the opportunity to manifest, really knowing what you're after. Making that New Year's resolution, my friends, make sure that you're writing it down, making it clear to the universe, make a vision board, something of this nature so that you can mark off each one that's coming through that you're working so hard for. This will bring your heart joy. This will bring all the things around you to a better understanding and any unexpected doors that you feel like were closed, you will be surprised how many things um, will actually start opening up for you. Um, just get rid of any fear. Fear is not a natural process of, <laughs> of what we are. Um, just get rid of fear because fear is a natural part of the process of stepping out of your comfort zone and often created when you hold yourself back, but you do not want to hold on to fear. Um, fear just holds you back, right? So, but we all have it, especially when anytime, you know, things are not going exactly the way we want to. We fear the rejection. We fear that it's not going to happen. We fear all kinds of things, right? So it's talking about sparking the divine love of the universe and letting go of any kind of fear that might be holding you back saying, I don't know if this door is going to open. I don't see that door opening. Um, well, that's not going to help you. If you can't see it opening, then it's going to stay shut. So really using your crown chakra and your third eye chakra to say, I can see this opening. I'm trying my hardest. Every little step you take makes it better, right? Okay. Hidden blessings coming out with the third eye chakra. Talking about these hidden blessings, you'd be surprised. So Spirit is saying, you'd be surprised what I have for you because there's a hidden blessing behind that door. I need you to start working your magic on that area. I need you to really start picking up the pace within the harmony, the joy, right? And the understanding that things can happen. Even the most unexpected things that you think will not happen could possibly happen, okay? There's a gift in every adversity, your love, intentions, prayers, good wishes, and realizations are held in the conscious of the universe. This, ener this energy circulates you. Okay. Circulates around you and may act as a source of comfort to you. Additionally, it may show up as a nourishment, wisdom, and teaching. You may draw on this energy whenever you need. So remember to adjust yourself Look for the greatest blessings that are hidden within yourself, okay? And remember, you never know what comes around that corner. So definitely finding all of these harmonious things within yourself is actually going to pop open this hidden blessing. But first, you need to get yourself centered enough to where you have the understanding that hidden blessings are possible. Things can happen. The most unexpected things can happen to people. I mean, we've all heard of the rags to riches situations and stories. They're not jokes. It actually happens. Okay, here we go. So getting over here, bringing out the moon card. Moon says, release your blocks. You're blocking your own self. Blocking your own self does not help you. Releasing the blocks so that you can find the hidden blessings within. 
So this beautiful moon card is a scorpion card and it's the first quarter of moon in Scorpio. This is talking about when it comes to pushing through your fears and any other negative feelings you're going to have a, to dig deeper. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself because fear blocks us. Make time to clear any toxic feelings around you. Don't let pride stop you from showing how, how dearly you want something. It's okay to be vulnerable if you know the people you're dealing with are trustworthy. Think about others as much as yourself. It says there's a light and a shade in your situation and you need to embrace them both. Don't get stuck on one idea and refuse to budge. Okay. Think about what a mental detox would involve for you. For example, avoiding people you argue with and it even says violence on TV if it's actually affecting you. Make time for things that are good for you. Using your sacral chakra, it's also bringing in the sacral chakra. Why? Because it's about the emotions and the feelings. It's located just below your navel within your spleen area. Think of the way the water flows. That's how this chakra can help you, your feelings to flow. So by going with the flow, and we're talking about the communication. How are you communicating with yourself? Communicate with yourself where it is a trustworthy and peaceful area within yourself and loving. Okay. Make sure that you're giving yourself the love back. The love back is by saying, I can have this. By not denying yourself opportunities. It's not very loving to not be able to give back to yourself. Think about it like this, guys. When you have children, do you tell your children, no, I'm sorry, sweetheart, you're never going to be a lawyer. I don't think you're going to be smart enough. He's six. Are you really going to deny him to be a lawyer because he's not smart? How do you know he's not going to be smart? You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like you're kind of telling yourself the same thing. Think of yourself as a child, kind of walk out of the situation and think about the things that you're telling yourself. Would you tell that to a child? Because the creator doesn't want you to say those things. Think about how the creator feels. How does the divine feel when you put yourself down? Because they, they bring a life purpose to you. They give you all these things. And when we block ourselves and we tell ourselves negative things, it's not very helpful. It's like telling a small child the same thing. I'm sorry, you're not going to be rich. Your parents aren't rich. You're never going to be rich. Really? What if he hit the lottery? You don't know. But why would you deny him the opportunities to become a lawyer? Why would you deny him the opportunity to say, I'm going to be rich, mommy. No, you're not. Why would you tell someone that? Right? So why would you tell yourself that? So if you kind of step out of, you know, that zone, think of all the things that you, you block yourself from. Think of all the negative talk you put yourself through. Think of all the negative thoughts of, I'm never going to be this and that. Really? Because I wouldn't tell my children that. I tell my children they can be whatever they want to be. If they can't be that, they can figure that out on their own. But I'm not going to deny them that. So why are you denying yourself? And that's what the divine is saying. Why do you give yourself blocks? Why do you deny yourself the riches? Why do you deny yourself hidden blessings? I need you to communicate better with yourself so we can start opening up better doors to happiness, to abundance, to prosperities, to hidden blessings. We mostly do it to ourselves. And then a lot of people say, well, this person, no, that person didn't do anything. You are in control, right? No, nope, they didn't do it. They may have told you you're not going to be anything, but you know what? If someone told me that, I told them, well, you can stick it because I'll be whatever I want to be. Who's got that Taurus in me, you know, so, and, you know, I'm going to make sure that I really kick him. <laughs> Back kick him like a cow, right? Don't you tell me. <laughs> Don't you tell me. That just makes me stronger because then that just really upsets me, right? I <clears throat> use that Scorpio in you. That Scorpio in you is going to be like, no, you ain't telling me. I'll sting you. But I don't like it because the, the balance that you need within the Libra, 
will weigh on you because if you don't feel like you're balanced within the areas, I'm Libra moon. So I, I do get wishy-washy, right? So if you do have someone telling you that and they, you know, do not allow them to tip the scales, you tell them no way, Jose, I'll be what I want to be. This will bring in a peaceful resolution for yourself. Give yourself your own peaceful resolution. You are the only one that is in control of your own self. No one else really has the power to do so, right? So you're really giving back the power to yourself for the perfect timing. So Spirit says you have the perfect timing. You just need to tell everything else no with force, using the sacral chakra to say no. And that's releasing the blocks. So underneath the blocks, right? You're going to tell it, no, I will be what I want to be. No, I will have hidden blessings. And then you'll be surprised what's going to happen within the next few months. Yes, because perfect timing. Things don't always happen. Like this ain't like, you know, this ain't Harry Potter magic. See what I'm saying? So it is going to take some time because you have to release the blocks. You have to keep yourself in that positive role, but you have to continue to keep fighting hard. And it doesn't mean you're not fighting hard now. It just means that you still have something that is blocking you that you haven't said no to yet. Put your hands above your belly button. Put your hands there. You guys all seen this in karate. I'm sure if you haven't, you can go watch it. They use the force within and they say, Hah! well, what you're going to say is no. Right. And you'll be surprised how powerful you feel. You'll be surprised what energy is actually there. If we had an energy meter, You'd be surprised how much energy just came out of that. It would meet, beep, 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 beep. it would be high. Right? You do it with all your force, all your knowing. And that will get your chakras going because then your higher self is like, yeah, we got, we you know we're here for a reason. We're here for a purpose. We're not here to just, you know, wander around, ah, lost. A lot of people are doing that, though, aren't they? <clears throat> yeah, some of the people we deal with are like that, right? It's like, hello, you're lost. You have, you, you've you lost all purpose of life. And you're over here going, I'm trying to find the purpose of life while you're running around. This is going to make you feel like you're in power. The gold. You got the Midas touch. Who are you? You are an emperor. You're the emperor of your own being. You're going to feel like you're opening doors. Absolutely gold again. Man, look at all the gold, guys. Now you have the Ace of Cups coming in. Why? Because now you're in control of this situation. You're in control of who you are and what you want. And this brings in your wishes fulfilled. This brings in a new cycle. This makes you feel like you're whole again. This will bring in reflection and recognition in such a different way that not only you are going to see the, the reflections and, re, and re, um, rewards of what's going on, others are going to see you as someone different, someone in power, someone who's in control of their life purpose, someone who knows where their life path is going. Who are you? You're the imprints bringing that beautiful Venus. Who are you? I'm Libra. I have Libra within me. I'm the imprints. I'm Venus. I have the harvest because now you have this beautiful birth. You're giving birth to a harvest. You're giving birth to your wholeness. Right? And remember, the best support we have is for ourselves. Nobody else on this planet can support ourselves the way we do. If you're looking for rewards and recognitions through everybody else, then you're not going to find the wholeness. Because the only rewards and recognitions we can really get is to ourselves. No one else can give you the power that you can give yourself. No one's going to pat you on the back the way you're going to pat yourself on the back. Once you feel the wholeness within yourself and you know who you are and what you're going after, then you allow other people to come in who will pat you on the back. Right, because you have the overall determination bringing in the sacral chakra and the solar plexus. And we have all this brown in here. What's the brown? The grounded. I'm grounded. I have the determination. I know where I'm going and I'm stable. Because no one else, like I said before, can give you any determination either. Only you can be your true determination. If you're waiting for someone 
to pat you on the back or give you this determination to try to make you this emperor, think again because most people are not going to do that. You have to do it for yourself. You will have friends that will be like, go, 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 and they'll be great energy. But the overall energy is coming from yourself. And this will help you move. And this is going to make you progress and move and bring in the strength. Wow, you just got like four cards. Oh my gosh. Bringing in what? The overall strength of yourself. Finding this strength that you have within yourself. Moving on your journey the way you're supposed to move. Having the self-will that you're supposed to have. Taking the chariot and allowing the chariot to give you the direction that you need to move in. Bringing in the abundance that you need. Why? Getting rid of any of this. If this is a selfish person that's around you, they're not going to give this to you. But you need to tackle the sadness. You need to tackle the things that are blocking you. Some of you may be a widow or a divorced person who is just now trying to get back on track. It's okay. It's okay. You have all the power within yourself. You can do this. You're here to continue to grow. You're here to continue to live. Especially if you're a widow. My condolences because I'm going to tell you. And a lot of times people who are widowed, they kind of lose the purpose. But, it, but Spirit says, no, you still have the life purpose. If I didn't have any purpose for you, you wouldn't be here. And if you're divorced... And you feel like you're lost because you don't have the partner. Either, either way, divorced or widowed, a lot of times this happens. We feel kind of lost. We don't know what we're supposed to do. We don't know where we're supposed to go. But Spirit says, no, I have a life purpose for you. I need you to gather your strength and continue on. And some of you, you're gathering strength so that you can have new love. Rebuilding what you've lost. And it's okay. Because like he says, if I didn't have a purpose for you anymore, I would take you home. But I do have a purpose for you. I'm going to need you to be strong. Find it. Get balanced. So that we can continue. So that you can be the emperor that you deserve to be. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love and happy New Year's. Bye-bye.